so far for the Panthers. But they're looking for, as you see, a nice follow-up by Malik Ellis. Johnson on the drive, couldn't finish, but the follow-up score gets Pitt on the board. Ellison up faking, driving, and scoring. Nice finish. Shot clock inside five now. Panthers have got to go to work. Open look missed by McGowans, but the follow-up score. In here. Weak side help. Panthers mishandled. Now they'll drive an off-balance take and make by Endier. Devin Vizio. Another take. This one's a Panther make. With Boy, the left. Pitt continues to attack the Ram. Because <laughs> the defense usually has something to say about it. In transition. Oh, great finish there by Tony. Again, Pitt continues to space very well. Now they get an open look inside. And one. Tony on the finish. McGowan's going strong for the finish for Pitt. Wilson Frames done a nice job of sticking his head in there, rebounding the basketball. Oh, Johnson on a beautiful crossover finish. Which way did he go? Wow. See if Duquesne goes too strong the other way, you bet. Out of control. Here come the Panthers. Johnson off balance. Count it. And one. <laughs> Three minutes left here at the PPG Arena. Panther fans starting to sense victory, and it rolls in. Shooter's touch for Jared Wilson frame. The decision to not shoot is not a good one. Panthers on the run, the lob, and the flush. Malik Ellison on the finish. Although this is one of those games where you get to the, the, the tape, the film, and you just throw it away. You throw it, rip up the stat sheet and move on. The score a little bit misleading. Duquesne played very tough for one half and change, but in the end, the Panthers have too much, and they will take a 74-53 win.